G'day, I'm David G, Sheshnag Yoga Centre, Sheshnag.com, what on earth is Kundalini? This video is about 20 year anniversary man, Kundalini Awakening 1998, 12th of July, New South Wales. Um, what have I done apart from struggle to fit into society since 20 years ago to this day? I've uh, turned my back on life, or the previous life, I moved to Tasmania research everything to do with God, to, re to do with coincidence and to do with trying to understand myself. Stumbled upon Kundalini and the philosophy in the yogic context and uh, that explained everything basically. It's the only doctrine that I found that anatomically accurately explains the experience of spiritual illumination and subsequently a Kundalini awakening. Since coming to Tassie, I've experienced two divorces. I tried to work full time, it didn't work real well. Now I work part time every second week. Every other week I have my children, so I want to be a good dad. I've experienced a broken back, the death of two of my close friends. My best man died, accidental suicide. So it's been a tragic experience. But it's been blissful as well to understand myself. I've been isolated, sort of call Tasmania my cave, which has been really brilliant for me because I haven't really been a follower of a follower because there's not many people in Tassie that I can follow in regards to what I need to know in the yogic philosophy, Kundalini awakenings. What else have I done? I've done a three year diploma in Satchinanda yoga teaching. I was the first in Tasmania to achieve that. Then I went on and did three years of a four-year master's in Sanskrit at the Australian National University. I've also started to build this temple that I'm standing on. If you look at it, Sheshnag Mandir. temple dedicated to the Sanskrit alphabet and yoga so hopefully in the process of the 20 years that I've been spending my life since the experience of realizing God existed I've gone through the experience and appreciation that there is no coincidence the fact that I realize no coincidence exists led me to the realization of God the realization of the higher self than Paramatma in the Sanskrit philosophy so then I aligned myself from, took myself from my profession of x-rays to thinking too much, then realizing everything's connected by energy and then everything has to do with some interpretation of your higher self on an energetic level. So then it brought me to yoga and then to yoga it landed me in Sanskrit and now my life's dedicated to an alphabet, which is insane in some contexts, but really spiritual in another context. So here I am standing on my property in the south of the world, Tasmania, Australia, dedicated, the whole property is dedicated to two things, Kundalini and Sanskrit. And here's the temple that I'm about to build, or here's the slab that I'm building the temple on. So that's what I've been doing since my 20 years um, since my Kundalini awakened on the 12th of July 1998 now we're talking like July 12th 2018 it's been chronic but it's been uh, it's been a trip I'm happy I made it and I'm, ha I'm happy I'm here 20 years later so um, that's a wrap on I'm, I'm David G Spiel of uh, what's been happening for the 20 years since I realized God existed and now I'm dedicated to Sanskrit and trying to understand myself on the most intimate deepest level and share that knowledge with the world Om Namah Shivaya Hara Hara Mahadev Hara Hara Mahadev Hara Hara Mahadev What on earth is Kundalini? If you find out email me leave a message under the video you can subscribe if you want doesn't really matter if you don't want that's cool too Peace Sheshnag.com